Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at yet another customization tool for Windows. And this one right here is actually another piece of Stardock software called Window Blinds. Now you guys may know that we've taken a look at a couple of uh, Stardox programs on this channel before. We took a look at uh, Bootskin and Logon Studio, both the XP and Vista slash 7 versions of those programs. But this program right here is all about modifying and theming your Windows installation. As you can see by this image right here, this literally allows you to modify how your taskbar looks, how uh, the window borders look, how the buttons look. This is a very uh, feature-rich program. And so you can get a 30-day trial of this program. You could also buy it outright. It's $10, or you could also get it as a part of their object desktop package, which is kind of like their ultimate package. And it contains, um, I think, all of their customization software. Now, this isn't like an ad for Stardock or anything like that. Like, they're not paying me. They're, they're not sponsoring this video. Um, but I just genuinely like some of their software. Like, I have used uh, Fences before. Um, I've used Bootskin and Logon Studio, like I mentioned in those two previous videos. And for those of you guys who have seen some of my unofficial Windows versions videos, that is one of the more popular series that we do on this channel. Um, I don't think anybody's actually used this specific program to modify anything, uh, but there have been some theme modifications done in those unofficial Windows versions. And if you guys kind of want to modify your Windows installation without installing one of those uh, like complete OS's, just go ahead and you know give this program a try. It's a pretty decent piece of software. I've been uh, testing it out very very briefly. Now, what's cool about uh, this version of Window Blinds right here is that it not only supports the latest version of Windows 10, but also Windows 8 and Windows 7. This program has been in development since 1998, so over 20 years. Uh, that is how long they have been uh, developing this program. I believe Stardock was found somewhere in the mid to late 90s. And what's also really cool and something that I don't know if a lot of people really know this, but Stardock actually uh, released a component of this software separately called Direct Skin. And that component has actually been used by other program developers, most notably ATI for their Catalyst Control Center. Well, anyway, that's enough about the Window Blinds website here. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at it uh, in this Windows 10 virtual machine right here. Now, I already have the program installed. It's a very, very simple um, installation. I'm sure you guys know how to go through all of that. And this is it right here. I mean, it's a very basic interface and it's uh, very, very easy to use. So right now we're just using the default theme, which is just the standard Windows 10 theme. So we can't really modify anything about this. But what you can do is choose from either a list of themes that are already bundled with the application or similarly to both Logon Studio and Bootskin, you can go to Stardock's Win Customize website, which we'll take a look at in a minute here, which allows you to download a ton of other skins. So all we have to do is, you know, uh, scroll through this uh, list here and let's pick out a skin that looks interesting. So let's go with this Win 8 Metro skin right here. Now, what's nice is you actually have an option to kind of preview how the skin is going to look. Uh, before you actually hit this apply button. So if you uh, click on this image right here, it'll come up with this full screen view, which will kind of show you kind of what it's going to do. So this is what the taskbar is going to look like. This is what a, a window is going to look like. And I believe this is trying to show you what the start menu would look like, but in Windows 10, it doesn't really take effect. You still use the standard Windows 10 start menu. So that's one thing that it's kind of uh, unfortunate about running this program under Windows 10. But let's just go ahead and press apply and it will come up with this nice little animation here, which is actually different for every single theme is something that I've also found out. And here we go, it has just applied that theme. So like it showed in those images, it changes the uh, close, maximize, and minimize buttons up here. It changes the uh, theme, you know, for the window border. It changes the taskbar kind of design, how that's designed. It adds a, a custom start orb right there. But as you see, when we open up the start menu, it still looks exactly the same. Also, when we actually open up Windows Explorer right here, you can see that it kind of has a complete overhaul. The ribbon, if you expand this, is not modified at all. Uh, and pretty much everything kind of in the standard file explorer window kind of below the title bar and the address bar. All of that is 
for the most part standard like this hasn't been modified one thing that is modified is the theme for the kind of progress indicator on the hard drive right here and you can see that we kind of have some different colors going on as well when you mouse over folders and when you actually uh, click on a, on a folder one time you'll see that it's green instead of like the blue that it normally is so that's just you know a slight modification as well which is very very nice and this is basically the same story with every single one of these what you can also do which is very cool is if you press this modify style right here it'll come down with this drop down menu and in here you can do things like force a blur effect on certain elements you can even go over to textures and add a custom texture to both the taskbar and these windows right here so let's say that i want to add this one right here it's not as bright as it is in this image right here but you can faintly see that that texture has been applied uh, in kind of the background of the title bar there which is very very nice uh, same thing for the taskbar right here it's the same story there we can also go to the fonts tab here and change how large that the font is you can, you can even make it smaller if you want you can change the actual font and you can change colors as well so let's go ahead and actually switch over to another theme so this was the windows 8 metro theme now to change over to other themes you just have to hit stop modifying right here and it will display the same list that we were talking about before let's go ahead and actually jump into the precision theme this is another cool one we can go ahead and hit apply here and you can see that this uh please wait animation is different like i said it's uh, it's uh, different for each theme first off you can see that it kind of adds like a very minimal uh title bar if we go to this window here you see that uh, the uh, title bar and the address bar is much smaller than in that other theme. We have uh, some new buttons as well with some new animations over those. Very nice looking. And we can do the same thing in modify style right here. And let's say that you want a red accent. So you can see here that now it's actually going to take effect across the entire theme. So when I hit apply here, uh, it will change the entire accent of this theme from a blue to a red. I mean, and you can basically do this with every single one of these themes. And it kind of makes your system look entirely different even though this is the same theme it adds kind of its own uh, custom texture to it or, or, or not texture but a custom accent now everything that I just showed you is all contained in this one style tab up here but you see that we've got some other uh, menu pages right down here so let's go ahead and check out the wallpaper tab now the wallpaper tab there isn't really anything special about this at all it's literally just a wallpaper changer I mean you can do this from the standard uh, Windows control panel but they just kind of have it in here to where when you are uh, choosing your uh, theme and kind of tweaking how everything looks, you don't have to go and open up a whole separate window to change your uh, wallpaper. You can do it right from here. So, I mean, I'm not really going to spend much time on this because it's literally just, I want to change my wallpaper to this. Okay, apply. And then there it is. I mean, that's all that it is. Nothing really special there at all. And moving on to the settings tab here, this kind of contains some, well, settings that you can use to modify how this program behaves so you can choose to you know show this icon in the system tray you can place sounds uh, defined by the style so you can disable sounds if a theme had a you know sound pack you can disable that uh, you can choose to always use the OS start button rather than, than the style one so if you wanted to not use this start button right here the one that comes with the theme you can uh, check that to just use the standard Windows 10 start button What's also cool is you can actually choose what, say, double clicking on the title bar does. So normally if you double click on the title bar, it will either maximize or restore the window. You can choose if the style doesn't have a predefined setting, you can say, well, I want it to minimize the window. Now when you hit apply, instead of uh, maximizing the window, when you double click on this uh, title bar, it will minimize the window. And that I believe uh, is, yeah, system wide. So that same thing is going to happen in the Windows Explorer as well. So very, very cool. I didn't want to open a mail there, but yeah, very, very cool. So it kind of allows you to tweak not just the, uh, you know, how your system looks, but also kind of how it behaves, which is definitely a very nice touch. If we go under advanced here, you see right here, we've got some settings to actually uh, change uh, window fading animations and pulse animations right here. What's also cool is they have this whole option right here for skinning Google Chrome. I personally have not been able to get this to work and I even followed a guide on their website where they asked you to um, add this flag in the shortcut uh, 
target right here. And in Google Chrome, the only thing that I've been able to get the theme to apply is the window border. Uh, everything else, uh, like the entire Chrome, like the title bar and the window buttons over here still look. You can see that it's kind of trying to apply them right there. You can see like that's the maximize button, the outline for it there. But um, I wonder if we... Oh, that's that's kind of interesting. So yeah, it's it's literally just kind of having both of them, but the uh, Google Chrome, like the interface for Chrome is kind of overlapped, if that makes any sense, like it's lapped over uh, the window blinds theme. So that's one thing that I'm not really able to get to work. You can also customize specific applications. For some reason, Opera is in here. I don't even have Opera installed on this. And you have the about screen, which just kind of shows you all of the files that this theme has that you know, kind of adds to the system. Now let's go ahead and actually take a look at Win Customize. Now I've briefly touched on this website in both the Bootskin and Logon Studio videos, but this is basically like a deviant art for Stardock specific software. You have people that upload, you know, themes or skins, you know, to this website. But uh, this entire website is maintained by Stardock. So you can go to this Explore tab here and scroll down to Window Blinds Skin. So if you go ahead and click that here, all of these skins are um, uploaded by, you can see a ton of different users here, and they are all for Window Blinds. Some of these even cost money. You see that this one right here costs $6.95. So if you wanted to buy sort of a premium skin, uh, you can you know pay money for them if you want to. Uh, what you can also do is just search for a particular skin. So let's say I want to search for a um, Ubuntu skin. I can search for that here. And I've actually already downloaded this, but this is a uh, Ubuntu 11 theme right here. And this is actually made for a Windows 7 version of Window Blinds, but it still works in the Windows 10 version. And this is going to make it look like Ubuntu 11.4. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at it. So I've already got it... Um, you know, installed in window blinds right here. You guys may have already seen it. This is it right here. And what's also very, very cool, and I'm sure there are other skins that do this as well, but under this sub-style menu, now this is the default sub-style right here. It's just called Ubuntu, and it has the window controls on the right side. But what you can do is change it to the left side. You can choose the uh, Ubuntu left and hit apply here, and it will literally move the window controls to the left side of the screen or to the left side of the window which normally you need to have like a, a whole separate program installed but this program will literally do it for you and yes this applies system wide we can open up file explorer here and you can see that there are no window controls um on the oh that's kind of interesting it kind of gets rid of the uh little indicator like that little line indicator that windows 10 has um, but yeah, it literally moves the window controls from the left or from the right side to the left side, and it also changes uh, the order that they are in. So instead of having close, maximize, and minimize, um, you have close, minimize, and then maximize. So it kind of remaps uh, the layout of the button. So that's definitely very, very cool. And uh, yeah, it's all contained in this program right here. And so yeah, I mean that is basically it, guys. That is a very, very brief look at the window blinds program by Stardock. Like I said, this is a very, very feature rich program, but uh, I would definitely, if you're interested in kind of theming your Windows 10 installation, making it look uh, unique and not like anybody else's, definitely at least give this program a try. Like I said, they're not paying for this video. They're, they're not sponsoring my channel in any way. I just kind of find this program pretty cool and uh, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever that I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. And also be sure to drop me a comment down below letting me know your guys' thoughts on this program. Uh, if you guys have a favorite way of modifying Windows 10, you know, uh, changing the theme, be sure to let me know down in the comments below as I always enjoy reading what you guys have to say. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.